All right. <laughs> wow, I'm just looking at the screen right now. And it looks really, really pixelated, which means my camera's getting worse. Awesome, isn't it? All right, so I know it's been about, what, three weeks? And I haven't really uh, updated you guys. Sorry about that. I've been a little busy. A lot of stuff has been happening. So first thing, let's talk about the social dancing that I've been taking. It's actually been a lot of fun. The first day I went, it was a little strange because I wasn't used to doing certain moves in front of everyone. Of course, they had us all doing the same thing, but yet there's a mirror right in front of us so we can see what we're doing. So it threw me off a little bit. Um, but overall, it's been just really enjoyable. Um, the only thing that threw me off is swaying the hips. Yeah, she had us, she had everyone, guys and girls, practice swinging their hips. So that took a little getting used to. It did. Um, and then she had us practice at home, which is a little strange because first you can do it by yourself, but then after it actually she incorporated it, so we have to have a partner. So it's a little strange, but I think I still have the idea down. And then for the third meeting, which was this past Thursday, um, wasn't too bad. They moved us to a bigger, larger room, and I actually get to, got to practice with someone over and over again. So I really got this whole technique down. It's one dance, by the way, um, from one of the advanced students who's done this before. He said that it's called, or the, the dance that we're doing is ballroom merengue. I didn't know there was such a thing, but who knew? <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll look up online, just check it out, just to see if it's exactly what he said it was, but the music's not bad. It's the same thing over and over again. It's, it seems like something that I really want to mix, because it has a progressive climax. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. And then it goes on to different songs afterward, and those aren't as good. But overall, not bad. I even met someone in there who knows how to pop and break dance, apparently. So yeah, overall not too bad. I'm looking forward to the next meeting. See, once I get in there, I really don't want to leave. I, I wish it was like every single day. But yeah, um, and about breakdancing and popping, um, at work when I'm on my lunch break, I practice popping for fun. Um, if I ever do Vanna, where I send customers to the registers, when there's no line, I practice popping because no one's there. I don't have to do anything, so it's either stand in place and do nothing, or practice popping, which I do. Well, guess what? A lot of the uh, employees see me popping, either on lunch or during Vanna, and the supervisor saw me popping during lunch, and he mentioned it to the assistant store manager, and then my supervisor calls me over, he's like, can I have a word with you? And I'm like, Shoes. What could it be about? Turns out, every year they have a store meeting. And they have karaoke, they give out awards, things like that. Well, he wants me to pop at the store meeting. Not only just pop, but there's a new person from Appliance Telecom, and she does hip hop. And she, they want me, or us, to battle against each other. Not really the battling type. Yeah, I can pop, but I'm kind of limited to my moves, so now I'm trying to think of what I can do. Um, so it, it is a little um, nerve wracking, but <laughs> I tell you, if this was about maybe a year and a half ago, then I think we'll have had enough moves to get things covered, but I kind of stopped popping it after a while. I'm a little rusty on my moves. So I have a little less than a month to really get everything down on what I'm trying to do. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, this is going to be at 6.30 in the morning. Yay! <laughs> I went to one before, it wasn't that bad, but still. And the idea of me popping in front of 400 employees, yes, 400, yeah, is it on my to-do list. But we'll see how it turns out. I'll let you know, I'll either hold my head down in shame or tell you all about it in I guess be excited. I don't know. But we'll see. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Next thing. Um, karaoke. So, 
Um, I, I join my friends every Thursday after my social dancing class to go karaoke. Um, I think the last thing I told you was I sang with someone, a sorry guy named Dan. Um, <clears throat> well, it turns out the week after that, I went ahead and I sang by myself. The song I sang, which is something that I actually knew and I could actually hit all the notes, because it usually songs I think require a different type of tone or texture for that voice character, or just the vocals themselves, which I probably can't do. Other people tend to hit these pretty dead on, that's why they sound similar to the artists. Well, this song that I chose, um, I could actually hit the notes and I guess somewhat sound like the person. Uh, the song was, or the artist was, uh, When in Rome, and the song was called The Promise. Ah, my throat is sore. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I went up there, and I sang, and amazingly people actually liked it. They actually clapped and everything. Usually there's about ten people in there, but no, on that day there was like twenty-five, 30. <laughs> How nice. So it wasn't that bad. I actually felt pretty good. And then this past Thursday, I went up and I sang twice. Yeah. The song I chose this time was Extreme. That's the artist's name. Extreme. Or The Extremes. And the song is called More Than Words. Not that... I think it's Frankie J. Oh look, a message. Anyway, it's not that Frankie J remix that everyone thinks is the original. No, Extremes did it first. Anyway, I went ahead and sang that song. It wasn't too bad. Well, I had to go up into my, um, how do you say, um, higher vocals, we'll put it for now, since the word's not coming to me. But I actually didn't sing that bad. People say I sang pretty well, so. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> wow, that text message is really trying to get my attention. Um, and then the song after that I sang, which I really thought I didn't do a good job on, was um, Set Adrift on Memory Bliss. It's by PM Don. Yeah, I know who the original person is. But this one had rapping, or I guess talking of the words, which I thought I could somewhat imitate or get the words down, but my voice wasn't really at the right pitch. Because as I noticed, People who rap aren't singing. There's no... I mean, I'm sure they're, they're on a certain note. But it's not like when you hear Eminem, if I were to play what he's saying on a piano, you wouldn't recognize it. You'd recognize it by how the music goes, not by how he's saying it. Because I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say it's like one key, maybe a microtone or two, up or lower. Get what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't think I'm that good at rapping. So I'll just stick with singing for now. But yeah, I'm actually getting more confidence at this. I'm actually looking forward to trying out different songs that require singing. So yeah. Um, hmm. I know there's something else. Ah, Heroes. Heroes Season 3 starts this Monday. If you guys have been watching or keeping track, I can't wait. I'm actually kind of excited to see it. Uh, Monday, I think it's a two-hour event, so it's like 8 to 10. So that's going to be something. Um, and just to let you guys know about these DVDs that are coming out, um, <laughs> I know in about oh, four months it's not really going to matter, but um, September 30th, Iron Man comes out on DVD. I think October 14th, 15th, somewhere around there, uh, Indiana Jones comes out. Incredible Hulk, I think, comes out somewhere in October as well, or maybe November, I'm not sure. And... Also, December 9th, which is what you're all, probably all going to be hearing about over and over and over on TV, radio, and everywhere else, is The Dark Knight. Yeah, finally comes out on DVD. It's going to be a single disc and like a two-disc special edition as well. That's going to be something. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. But, yeah, so that's basically what I've been up to lately. I've been trying to keep track of everyone's videos. 
because some people have done some and then sometimes there's a uh, long pause and then more videos appear and so I've been just trying to keep track. So I'm going to try to respond to some of the comments that people have been posting on my new ones and some of my old ones. We'll see if I get to that in a sec. Yeah. And before I go, I just wanted to do a shout out to my friend, Nick. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, if you guys don't know who Nick is, I'll put a link up on this side. No, that side. Right there. Yes. I'll put a link there so you can check out his profile and check out his videos. And if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. Not bad. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.